really good. Okay, let's move on now from Bellator and move over to the UFC. This past weekend, UFC Fight Night Fizzy versus Gamrot went down at the UFC Apex in Las Vegas. Hey, I was there. Uh, not there there, but I was like two minutes away. Uh, I did look up on my phone how far away the Apex was, and it was like right down the street, which was oh. nuts. Why didn't you go watch? It, it happened before mine. And in the main event, Mateos Gamrot defeated Rafael Fiziev by TKO due to a knee injury in the second round, the official time, 2 3 of round number two. Omar, start us off this time for UFC. Give us your take on the first round, going into the second round, and ultimately how this fight had to finish due to a knee injury. Yeah, so the first round I thought was really fun, really competitive. I mean, this was kind of what we... I would imagine what we expected, right? Fazeev was definitely trying to land the shots, uh, was definitely trying to keep it standing. Gamera was trying to find his entries to move in, but definitely wasn't afraid to, to scrap a little bit. Um, but I thought Fazeev got got the better of the exchanges when it came to it. His takedown defense, I thought, was was great as I think his, it normally is. I think a man has a lot of strong, uh, a lot of strength in his hips that I think people sometimes underestimate because he's not necessarily a grappler. Um, but that doesn't mean that doesn't mean you can't stop a takedown and he does a really good job of it uh and the second round the second round is my nightmare dog i'm gonna be honest he threw that kick and his knee just just went to clack and it was his back knee right it was his base knee it, it's the base yep. knee and and i gotta be honest man i've i have and i and i've attributed it for myself to me not turning my hips over a lot so a lot of times i can put a lot of a lot more pressure on my ligaments and my knees than i should and sometimes I've felt some sketchy things here and there when I kick, um, and I try to correct it and whatever else. But but this this right there that happened to Fazeev, that's that is my legitimate nightmare. Yeah, it sucks. Yeah, man. All right, Mark, what are your thoughts on how this fight was panning out, and then ultimately how it took this horrible U-turn? Yeah, it sucks so much that we were robbed of this fight because it it was really so fun for for a round and a half, you know watching all the different ways that Rafael Fazeev was trying to avoid these takedowns. Like we were going to be in store for some crazy scrambles as that fight went on. And then as much as yes, Fazeev did look like the faster and more dangerous striker, especially in terms of in combination, um, Gamrot was really landing some clean single shots with, with that right hand. So, you know, he was hanging there. Fazeev was combating the grappling. It, it was really shaping up to be a fun fight. Uh, I don't think I saw anything in it to move me off my take that I would pick Fazeev if it were to, to happen again. Um, but unfortunately, his leg had other plans. Um, he throws what honestly looked like a pretty regular kick for himself, but the posting leg just gave out. It's just one of those things. Of course, he collapses. Gamera jumps on him, fights over. Um, you know, I've said this before. I, sometimes I wish that injury wins and losses would have their own column on records kind of like how draws and no contests do just because i i hate that that that's a loss for fazeev and a win for gamrot because i i don't really see how you could say gamrot caused that one like that was a freak injury but you know it is what it is it is a win for gamrot fazeev hits the sidelines for what sounds like it'll be a year now um towards acl oh. if for anyone who doesn't know um here, actually Damn. yep um and, you know, I don't think Gamrot skyrockets up rankings or anything like that here, but obviously he stays in line for another big fight. Yeah, man. Bro, that's that's surgery and the whole deal. That is... Oh, I, hope there, I, hope, I hope there is insurance because somebody, uh, one of the coaches at my gym had that happen to him where his ACL just was like, fuck you, and just went. And... Oh. The bill, I mean, we had to we had to do a couple of fundraisers because the really bill for cheap. that thing is, is fucking crazy. It's absolutely wow. insane. Wow. So. Yeah, man. <clears throat> okay. Uh, who do you think could be Gamrot's next opponent? Omar, why don't you start us off this time? Uh, sorry. I don't know. All of a sudden, I was not prepared for that. You want me to go? Yeah, go yeah, for it. it. I don't have a great answer. I, I think that it's tough yeah. because it's not like he staked some huge claim here with this win. Like, you know, I don't think Dustin Poirier is 
sitting there looking at this and thinking, you know what, I should fight this Mateusz Gamrot guy. I mean, maybe Michael Chandler is if he doesn't end up fighting Connor. Darius already fought him and beat him. I, I mean, maybe if Charles loses to Islam, they could make that fight. I know that's what Gamrat asked for, but I just don't feel like any of those seem super realistic at this particular moment. So I, I don't know. I, I honestly feel like the most realistic choice to me seems like having Gamrat and Armin Sarukian run it back, considering how close their fight was the first time and considering these top guys don't want to fight them. So I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe one of these guys says, you know what, sign me up. I'll be the guy that, that fights a Gamrot. But I just don't get the sense that, like, the Poiriers of the world are looking to do that. Dude, I th- I was thinking that during this fight and also when it wrapped up, I was like, man, Gamrot is – he just got this win technically over Fazeev. And now he's like, man, Gamrot's kind of arriving into the upper echelon of lightweight. Yeah. And then, like, Sarukin – is going to eventually also. And these two guys are going to have to fight each other at some point again. But maybe it's going to be now. Maybe it's going to be now. Yeah, And if Fazeev had one, I think it's easier. Like, I could much more easily see a Poirier or a Chandler being like, dude, this guy Fazeev is a nasty striker. Let me go have a war with this guy. Mm-hmm. Like, that seems like more their style. Whereas Gamrot, I feel like they're like, eh, I don't know if that's what I need to do right now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, let's move on. Omar. Did oh, man, yeah, back to you, Omar. <clears throat> back to you. So I, I also don't really think that Gamrot needs to really go anywhere. Um, and so at this point, to be honest, I think the winner of Grant Dawson and Bobby Green would be a fun fight against Gamrot. I thought you might say that. Mm-hmm. I mm-hmm. thought you might say that. Okay.